Alrighty, bros, no intro or anything like that. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do because I want to keep this video as short as I possibly can and just provide you the benchmarks and that sort of stuff for the new Radeon 7 compared to the RTX 2080 and the 1080 Ti. And I want to say straight away, for things like 3D benchmarks, Cinebench, and all of that sort of stuff, the Radeon 7 does end up pulling ahead the majority of the time, but I am about real life things like playing back 4K video in an editing software or how games actually perform when playing them. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is a gameplay, a 4K video of Apex Legends in a video editing software and let's see if you guys can tell which video is the Radeon and which video is the RTX 2080. So now we're going to go ahead and move into some benchmarks for video games. I only have five games installed on my computer, so I'm only going to do benchmarks for five different games, all at 4K, 1440p, and then 1080p. The games that I'm going to be benchmarking is Apex Legends, of course, since that's like the new hot game. Fortnite Battle Royale, because that's another really good game. Battlefield 5, because I ended up getting that game for free with my RTX 2080. Destiny 2 and then overwatch and i don't think that i really need to explain anything i think that you guys are smart enough to figure out how this benchmark is going to work i don't know how people get those like charts i don't know what program they use in order to do that but yellow is going to be the gtx 1080 ti the green is going to be the evga rtx 2080 for the win three and then red is going to be the radeon 7 now, as you guys can see, I mean, the Radeon 7 isn't a bad graphics card by any means whatsoever, and it is still in very, very early stages. So we, you know, we're most likely going to be getting drivers and all of that sort of stuff to improve the performance of this thing. But there's a lot of different things that the NVIDIA GPUs offer that AMD does not. Like, think about the updated versions of the NVENC encoder inside of OBS Studio, the video playback that you saw in my video editing software. For me, that's night and day. And the colors, as far as like the saturation and all of that sort of stuff went, that's really just comes down to my NVIDIA control panel and the color adjustments that I had in that. But as far as like the frame rate with the video playback, the skipping with the video playback, that is like what I am concerned about when upgrading things inside of my computer. I'm not worried about things like Cinebench, 3D Mark, and all of that sort of stuff because yes, the Radeon 7 does win in most of those programs, but real life situations is what I want to know about. And you know, that's just something that I wanted to do as a review for this graphics card. But yeah. That's going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments below if you think that it's going to be worth the $700, considering graphics cards like the 2080 and the 1080 Ti are right around that price range. But as far as I'm concerned, as of right now, those are the better purchases. I am not saying that the Radeon 7 later down the road when the drivers get updated and stuff it's not going to be a better GPU but as far as right now since the launch of the Radeon 7 the 2080 and the 1080 Ti are better options I am not a red fan a green fan a blue fan red is for AMD green is for Nvidia and blue is for Intel I am about the performance what I want is whatever is the best and nvidia and intel yes they're more expensive but there is no denying the performance is just better it just is even though they are more money um 
at least for like the CPUs and that sort of stuff. The Radeon 7 is the same price as the 2080 and this is just me being honest and I like I would love to see AMD come out on top eventually once the drivers get updated and we get better performance. And then the last thing that I want to say, the fan on the Radeon 7 is so freaking loud. So if you are a content creator, it's like the biggest no. Like that's probably my biggest friggin' issue with this thing. The fans are so loud. But yeah, that's gonna bring us to the end of the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember to support the video with a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.